Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Mr. B Cooks. Subscribers appreciate you. New viewers, you gotta subscribe so you can get some awesome recipes like the one we're doing today, which is going to be a Mexican chicken tater tot bake. We're taking a Mexican chicken, and I'm just gonna use some skillet sauce with some chicken, and we're gonna make a bake out of it by covering it in tater tots. Starting off, I've got my stove top at four. I've also preheat my oven to 350, so it's counting down to get to there. Two pounds of uh, just boneless, skinless chicken breasts, uh, chopped up, just rough chop, and maybe a tablespoon of butter. Just put that right in there. And we're gonna brown this up. Once it's brown, then we'll start doing the sauce to make this Mexican chicken. You can see that my chicken's pretty much whitened up. There's a little bit of pink left. I'm gonna get just a shot of olive oil. You can also see that I hit it with a little bit of uh, ground black pepper. And I also use sea, uh, sea salt. I'm gonna say it's no more than a quarter of a teaspoon. It's my typical pinch. Uh, so now it's time to uh, start turning this to Mexican. Uh, and the reason that we added the olive oil is I have one red, one green, and one yellow onion. Uh, just a very rough chop, does not have to be perfect. In fact, you can see I left a couple of slices in there uh, that I didn't get all the way through, that's okay. And um, we're gonna cook this for five to seven minutes, just enough to soften this up. So we'll see you in seven. Oh. I did turn the heat from a four to a five. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you're at as long as it's in the medium to medium high range uh, and you're just trying to whiten the chicken and then now we're trying to get some flavor to these and soften them. See you in five. All right, it's been a little over five minutes and uh, everything's starting to soften up good. I did drain, strain, whatever, some of the liquid out. Uh, that's intentional because I'm gonna add more liquid now. This is one cup of chicken stock. This is Worcestershire sauce. Uh, typically you think red meat with this, but I just like the uh, flavor of the Worcestershire to this, so this is optional. Uh, one tablespoon. And it doesn't have to be perfect pour. This is eight ounces of uh, sour cream. And then uh, I said we were gonna do a taco sauce to this, so. This is, um, you've seen me use this before, this is Frontera's uh, taco sauce, eight ounces. If you don't have this or you like a different brand, that's fine. You can also use dried uh, taco seasoning. This is gonna give it the Mexican flavor really through and through now. Uh, this happens to be chili and cumin, it's a very mild flavor. Uh, so I just added an eight ounce package of taco skillet seasoning, this is chili and cumin, but you can use whatever flavor of uh, taco seasoning you want, including dried, uh, tacos is like you get from Ortega or whatever. Uh, lastly, this is, uh, I wanna say 16 ounces, yeah. Uh, this is a mild salsa, but if you like spicy, go ahead and go hot. Uh, do whatever you want with that. And that's gonna be straight in. We're gonna mix this up, let it simmer for a little bit, and then we'll uh, finish this up for the bake portion. Uh, you can see that I've kind of reduced this down into more of a thickened red sauce, uh, which is exactly where we wanna be. I have eight ounces of shredded Mexican blend style Cheese, I'm just gonna go across the top of this. All right, so this is the, the cheese that was again, eight ounces of shredded Mexican uh, blend cheese. Now I'm using, I have a 32 ounce bag of frozen, they're called potato puffs, um, but tater tots is basically what we're calling them. Uh, I'm gonna go across the top and get these all on, and then we'll be ready to put them in the oven to bake. All right, so I've covered this with uh, the tater tots, the puffs. And we'll go ahead and turn that heat off. Remember, I re preheated to 350. We're gonna go straight into the stove with this and bake it. That's why it's called a bake. At 350 degrees for 45 minutes, plus or minus. Uh, but we're gonna start with 45 and see where we're at. We'll see you then. 45 minutes is what we ended up with. You can see that the tater tots are definitely nice and crispy up on top. Indicating to me that things are plenty done. This is gonna be kind of a sloppy dish, but that's okay. You get a nice little scoop, and you can see that everything is nicely done. The potatoes are falling apart, which is perfect. You get the cheesiness of it, and you can see the sauce. It looks very reminiscent of an enchilada sauce to me. And that's really all there is to it. Nice, easy. You know the drill. Subscribe, share, like, comments down below, ring the bell when you do subscribe so you get those alerts. Check back for the next video, and as always, take care. Peace.